So now if you want to take these bearings out, what you do is you can stick a screwdriver in there, and then pry them out. And if you don't have a screwdriver, what you can do is use your, um, your nut on the truck, but then it can mess up the thread, so ideally you want to use a screwdriver or something. And skate shops will usually have something mounted that will help you do this a lot easier. So I've taken out this bearing. You can see this is the outside, and this is the inside of the bearing. These look like they're sealed bearings. Some bearings you'll be able to get a razor and lift up this plate and take it off. But these ones are um, are sealed bearings, so we're not going to be able to open them up any more than we already have. But now you can at least see the inside of the wheel and where you want to get the grease. You want to get it on the inside of that bearing. And move that around. I do the same thing with this one. One thing that's nice about this TriFlow um, lubricant is that it sort of penetrates. It can get it a lot easier than something like the Bones Speed Cream lubricant. So now I'm just getting that in there, working it, and now this bearing is already starting to spin a lot more freely, as you can see. So it was a little bit frozen because we rode through the rain the other day, and now it's completely loosened up and really nice and free. Now all, the last thing I'm going to do is just you know, take my cloth and try to clean inside this wheel a little bit to get out any other residue. Now I'm going to put this back in, and uh, one way to put the bearing back in, because it's usually really tight, is you can't just press it in that easily. So sometimes you want to take your truck and use that to push it all the way in the rest of the way. Now you got your wheel back together. You can repeat that for the other side. And this wheel is already spinning a lot better than it was before. So that's how you lubricate your wheels. And I just did one bearing. You need to do it to each bearing on each side for every wheel. And uh, then you put it back, and back on there, put the washer back on, and then put your nut back on. And that's it.